friends. Today we shall continue the tenth class geometry chapter of the triangles. So in the previous class we have seen the basic proportionality theorem and the proof of the theorem, or it is also called as the Euclid's theorem, and we have. Solve the problems of the Taylor's theorems. Now, students, we will see the in this period see the different uh, criteria to show the similarity of triangles. Different criteria to show the similarity of the triangles. Students. Therefore, now we shall study criteria for similarity of triangles. So students, you are already familiar with the axioms in the previous classes. Yes, 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 axiom. Yes, 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 axiom. Yes, yes, axiom. And RHS axiom, which are used to show the the two triangles are congruent. <coughs> Recall that you have studied in the previous classes. To show those two triangles, uh, given two, tri two triangles are congruent. Similarly, here we are going to use different criteria to show the two triangles are similar. So now we shall see the first criteria. The first criteria is angle, angle, angle criteria. So first, first criteria is angle, angle, angle criteria. So shortly it can be read as A, A, A criteria. So there the name itself of tells us. So we have to take the three angles of one triangle. Three angles of one triangle with we are going to compare the another three angles of the other triangle. So this statement so the, it states that so it states that if if in two triangles, if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, if in two triangles the corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So the corresponding sides, if in two triangles, Corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the not equal but they are in the same ratio. Corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Then we can say that the two triangles are similar. Then we can say that two triangles are said to be similar. Students, once again, so if in two triangles, if corresponding all the angles of one triangle are equal to the other corresponding angles of the triangle, so then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio, then we can say that those two triangles are similar. Students, we will understand it by applying for the two triangles. The two triangles. So let us take two triangles. So students, I will draw two triangles. So draw a triangle ABC. Draw a triangle ABC, and similarly. Draw another triangle, another triangle, and name it another triangle. Name. Students, so I will call. 
call this as triangle ABC and this as triangle DEF. So if we apply the statement for the these two triangles ABC and DEF. So the angles, corresponding angles, angle A to angle B, angle A to angle B, so and angle B to angle E and angle C to angle E. So if these three angles are equal, up to here. Angle A is according to the statement. So angle A is corresponding to angle A. Angle B is corresponding to angle E. Angle C is corresponding to angle F. So by this statement, these two uh, the corresponding angles are equal. The corresponding angles are equal. So we will write in triangle. We write in triangle ABC, ABC, and in another triangle is B E F, B E F. Write the corresponding angles. Angle A is equal to angle B. Angle B. Is equal to angle E and angle C. Angle C is equal to angle E. The corresponding angles are equal. Coming to the next part of the statement, their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So their corresponding sides. The corresponding sides. We will take the corresponding sides. So AB and DE are the corresponding sides. BC and EF are the corresponding sides. Then AC is corresponding to the side DEF. So now we will write the ratio of the corresponding sides. That means. AB by BE and uh, and AB by AB by BE is equal to BC by EF. BC by EF equal to AC by BF. AC by BF. So then we can write. Therefore, we can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle BF. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle BF. Students, please understand this uh, angle 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 criteria. So according to the statement of this criteria, so corresponding angles of two triangles are equal. So this will be very helpful to to be clear and also to solve the problems. Corresponding angles of two triangles are equal. And the A is equal to angle B, and the B equals angle E, and the C equals angle E. So then, the second part of the, according to the second part of the statement of the criteria, their corresponding ratios. So that means A B by B E. So one mark is one mark is there. A B by B E. Is equal to that ratio should be equal to 
second side that is BC by BF ratio, so which will be equal to BC by BF. So then we can say that those two triangles are similar. This is the symbol of similarity. I think you have clear about the the angle angle criteria for triangles comparison of triangles. Simply, just you have to compare the angles. So, if three angles of one triangle are equal to the three angles of another corresponding angles, and the second condition is the corresponding sides. The we have to take the ratio of their corresponding sides. So, the corresponding sides of the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal then you can say that those two triangles are similar ok now we shall see the next criteria now students we will see the another criteria which is a side 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 criteria next one is side 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 criteria in shortly we call it as yes 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 criteria so this uh, this criteria tells that if in two triangles if in two triangles sides of one triangle sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of another triangle then their corresponding angles are equal so when the sides are in the same proportion so then their corresponding angles are equal so then we can write those two triangles are similar so now we shall apply this statement to the triangles that now we shall write the two triangles now observe the two triangles AB by AB 
is equal to dc by dc by e of it will be equal to ac by b of ac by b of so if the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal so then you can write so then you can write angle a equals angle b comma angle b equals angle e and angle c equals angle e of so therefore you can write these two triangles are similar triangle abc is similar to triangle e of that means we are going to use different criteria to show the two triangles are similar so which we have already studied in the previous classes so we are going to use different axioms to prove the congruency of the triangles sssss triple s side 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 axiom or So SCAS exam, ASCA exam. Similarly, here we are going to use different types of criteria. So in this criteria, we are going to use the three sides. The ratio of the three sides are equal. So then their corresponding angles are equal. So therefore, we can say that. Or we can write that these two triangles are similar. Dear yes, students, now we shall see the next criteria. Now, students, we will see the third one criteria. That is side angle side criteria. In short, it is called as S A X criteria. So this is, states that if one angle of a triangle, if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle, one angle of a triangle is equal to the one angle of the other triangle, and the sides including these angles. Or proportional, so then the two triangles are similar. Students, observe this statement. We are going to compare the uh, one angle, any one angle of the one triangle with the corresponding angle of the other triangle, and here we are going. We have to take the sides, so which are Including that angle, so which include that angle. So, if their proportion is equal, if their proportion is same, then we can write those two triangles are similar. So now we will apply this for the that the as we have done. Previous uh, statements draw two triangles and name it. So I have drawn one triangle. Similarly, draw another triangle. Now name those triangles. I will call this second triangle. According to statement, you can take any one of the angle of one triangle. You can take A angle A or angle B angle C. So any one angle. So I will take 
angle A of the first triangle ABC. Angle A of first triangle ABC. So corresponding angle of triangle DEF is D. Let it be angle D. So now we have to compare the ratio of the sides. For comparison of the ratio of the sides, we have to take only the sides AB and AC of this triangle. So listen carefully students, in this criteria we are going to take the sides which includes the taken angle. The sides, we have to take the sides which includes the the angle which we have taken for the comparison. So here I have taken angle A, therefore you must take the sides AB and AC. If you take angle B, you have to take the sides as AB and BC. If you take an angle C, then you have to take the sides BC and BC. I think you have cleared about that. Now, if you apply a statement for the figure, in figure, triangle ABC and triangle DEF triangle DEF so angle A angle A equals angle B angle A equals angle B so here if this is a first side, corresponding first side is E, the second side is AC, corresponding second side is EF. Then their ratio and AB by DE equals AC by AC by DE. C by D. So A B by D, if A B by D is equal to A C by D F, so then we can write, therefore we can write those two triangles. Triangle A B C is similar to triangle D D F. According to the side angle side criteria. Students, this is all about the, the three different criteria of triangles, similarity of triangles. So, you have to yeah, remember, you have to understand these three criteria which will help to prove the theorems and also prove the problems and also simplify the problems. Okay, now we shall see the theorems and the problems on these criteria. Now students, we will see the theorem. So this is a angle angle criteria theorem angle angle criteria theorem so you have seen the statement of this angle angle criteria so it states that if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence the two triangles are similar and hence the two triangles are similar ok students now 
you have seen the statement of the angle angle criteria so by using that statement we are going to prove that theorem the statement of the theorem is in the previous we have seen the angle angle criteria theorem so by using that criteria here we are going to prove the theorem the statement of this theorem is if in two triangles if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal if corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same proportion or in the same ratio observe the statement so in the theorem if in two triangles corresponding a corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio so by taking the corresponding angles we are going to prove the ratio of the corresponding sides of equal or the proportion will be equal so now by using this statement we are going to prove the theorem now we shall apply this step by step proof so the first step is we are going to draw the rough sketch or rough figure for the statement so here in, in the statement they have told that two triangles therefore here i have taken two triangles so i named it as a abc and bce yeah. so therefore there are two triangles so where first one is triangle abc and another one in the triangle is bce yeah. so now so by the statement and by seeing the diagram or figure so we are going to write the data to do so and the proof so now uh, uh, we will write the data so according to the statement in these two triangles are these two in these two triangles all the corresponding angles are equal all the corresponding angles are equal so therefore we will write so angle a angle a is equal to angle b so angle b is corresponding to equal to angle e and angle c is correspondingly equal to angle e r so these are the corresponding angles which are equal to one another so that is the data in triangle abc and triangle d or angle a equals angle d angle b equals angle e and angle c is equal to angle y yeah. so if the corresponding angles are equal so then the next part of the theorem is to prove so that is conclusion then their corresponding sides are in the same proportion their corresponding sides are in the same proportion so now to prove so for the corresponding sides ab the side ab is corresponding to the so the corresponding side is d for side bc the corresponding side is e r for side ac corresponding side of another triangle is e r so therefore we can write ab the ratio part the ratio of the sides of these two triangles ab by bc one more mark is there so ab by bc is equal to bc by er if it is equal to ac by er that is the to prove ab by bc equals bc by er equals ac by 
here. Students, here uh, given data is not enough to prove the theorem. The given data is not enough to prove the theorem. Therefore, we have to make some construction for this. So, the construction is draw line segment P2 parallel to EF. Draw line segment P2 parallel to EF such that we have to draw the line segment P2 parallel to EF in the triangle to EF. P2 parallel to EF in the triangle to EF such that condition is the length of BP is equal to AB, length of PQ is equal to BC, and the length of DQ is equal to EC. So for this, we are going to mark a point, one point that is P on side DE and Q on side DE. Mark the point P on D and Q on D F. Now join these P and Q line segments. So join these two points, we will get a line segment. We will get a line segment that is P2. It is P2. So this P2 is parallel to E F. This P2 is parallel to E F. So the next part is proof. So now students, first we have to prove if you observe the second arc triangle in second triangle. So there is another new we got the another new triangle. So what is the name of the another new triangle which is formed by constructing P and Q or line joint the P and Q? Yes, that is B P Q. B P Q is the another triangle. So now we have to compare this B P Q with A B C. We have to compare this B P Q with A B C and these two triangles are congruent. So now students, in the next step of proof, proof in triangle ABC and DP2, in triangle ABC and DP2, so AB, AB is equal to DP. So this is already written in the um, uh, construction. So and side AC is equal to B2 and BC is equal to P2. So that we are we are going to write here. So comparing these two triangles in triangle ABC and BP2. So here we have written the we have taken the first we have taken the triangle ABC, therefore write down the sides of sides and angles of the um, triangle ABC to the right side. We have taken the triangle BPQ to the right side, right the sides and angles of the triangle BPQ. So AB is equal to BP. AB is equal to BP. So and AC is equal to BQ. AC is equal to BQ because this is what we have constructed. So in the triangle. And already we know that the triangle A is equal to angle B, that is in the gut. So therefore, in, the, in two triangles, the two sides and an included angle, the two sides and an included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and an included angle of another triangle, then those two triangles are congruent. That is the SAS axiom. So, by SAS axiom, these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, we can write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABQ. So, that is by 
yes he is axiom now we will write so angle b is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle q so angle b is equal to p angle c is equal to angle q because they are the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles they are the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles therefore angle b is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle p but angle b is equal to angle p already we have the term but angle b is equal to angle e so up to these two so this is one all this has two so these two from one and two from one and two up to the edges in the left hand side both angles b is there so if the edges are equal then or edges will be equal so therefore angle p is equal to angle e so angle p is equal to angle e so if you observe this triangle angle p is equal to angle e so then we can write this pq is parallel to pf this pq line is parallel to pf which is already studied in the previous classes so now apply this theorem so this is a line segment parallel to this third side therefore apply this theorem to this triangle b f so therefore we can write we can write here dp by dv equals d pq by f equals dp by dv so here dp by dv dp by dv is equal to pq by f pq by f which will be equal to pq by f so they are the corresponding sides so observe this so if you observe the numerators so numerators so by construction this dp is equal to ev pq is equal to bc and dq is equal to ac substitute the values of dp pq and bq you will get ab by db is equal to bc by db equal to ca by db because the triangles so db and db to are congruent in by construction and hence the proof of the theorem okay students i think you have understand how to do the the angle and the trivia theorem so now we shall see the problems on this theorem students now we shall simplify the problems on the basis of the the similarity criteria of triangles so we know the similarity criteria first one is angle 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 criteria second one is side 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 criteria and another one is yes a yes criteria so by using those criteria now we shall simplify the exercise problem here in the exercise 2.3 first uh, main is that in the in that problem the problem is state which pair of triangles in the following figures are similar which 
state which pair of triangles in the following figures are similar. Write the similarity criterion used by you for answering the questions and also write the pairs of similar triangles in the symbolic form. Student, you shall understand the statement of the problem. So in this line, they have given the pairs of triangles. So we have to say whether they are similar or not. Whether they are similar or not. So here we are going to we have to say which criteria or what criteria we are going to use to say that those two given triangles are similar. And lastly, we have to write the similarity of the given triangles by using the symbols. I think you have understand the um, purpose of the problem. Now we will come to the first uh, figures, first set of figures. So in this first figure, so ABC is ABC and P2 are, are the two triangles. ABC and P2 are, are the two triangles. So by comparing these two triangles, which is given in the, uh, the data which is given in the figure, after comparing these two, they have to say uh, whether they are similar or not. And also we have to write here so which, which is the similarity criteria we are going to use here. Which is the similarity criteria we are going to use here. And we have to write the similarity of triangles in the symbolic form. Students need to observe this two triangles. In triangle ABC, the measurement of angle A is 60 degree, B is 80 degree, and angle C is 40 degree. So similarly, in the triangle PQR, angle P is 60 degree, angle Q is 80 degree, angle R is 40 degree. So corresponding angles, if you observe the corresponding angles of the given, Triangles. Angle A, the measurement of angle A is equal to angle P. Similarly, the measurement of angle B is equal to angle Q, which is equal to 80 degree. And also, the measurement of angle 40 degree is equal to measurement of angle or 40 degree. So therefore, so the corresponding angles are equal. So these two triangles are similar. So the criteria for this is angle angle criteria. Students now we shall write that. So in triangle, in triangle ABC, ABC and in triangle PQR, PQR, angle A equals angle P equals 60 degree. So then angle B equals angle Q equals 80 degree. So then lastly angle C is equal to angle R which is equal to 40 degree. So therefore the angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of another triangle. Therefore, we can write so triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So this is the same. We have written the similarity by using the sigma. So therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Here we are using the angle, angle, angle criteria. Angle, angle criteria. So this is the answer.
answer for the first figure. So now we shall see the uh, second figure. Now, now students, so if you observe the second uh, pair of figures, so now in the second pair of figures, if you observe, so here also ABC is one triangle, another one is PQR. So if you observe the given data, so here they have given the length of the sides of the triangle, length of the sides of the triangle. So the length of AB is 2 units, length of BC is 2.5 units, length of AC is 3 units. So P in the triangle PQR, length of P2 is 6 units, QR is 4 units, and PR is 5 units. So therefore, if you observe by the given data, so we can uh, apply side 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 criteria to solve this problem or to show the similarity of the triangles. Now students we will write so in triangle in triangle A B C A B C and triangle P Q R in triangle P Q R now let us say AB AB by QR. Friends, also here you have we have to take AB by QR. AB by QR equals length of AB is 2 units, length of QR is 4 units. Simplify in this if you simplify it, you will get for 2 1 by 2, 2 is of 4. It is 1 by 2. So the ratio of AB by 2 R is 1 by 2. Next, students now say BC by PR is BC by PR equals BC is 2.5 units. So PR is 5 units. So therefore, 2.51s are 2.52s are so it will be 5. So here also the ratio is 1 by 2. So again the remaining third is third side is AC by P. AC by P2, which is equal to the length of AC is 3 units, whereas the length of P2 is 6 units which will be equal to 1 by 2. So 3 ones are 3 2 is so it is 1 by 2. So therefore, therefore students, therefore A B by Q R equals B C by B C by P R is equal to AC by PQ. AC by PQ which is equal to 1 by 2. So therefore, we can write these two triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Triangle ABC is similar to Triangle P Q R by side 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 radio. Side 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 radio. So in the first problem, so we are using the angle 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 radio because the measurement of angles of one triangle are equal to the measurement of angles of corresponding angles of another triangle. So therefore, they are similar. In the second problem, so we have used the side 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 criteria because 
the ratio of the one ratio of the sides of the one triangle to the corresponding sides of the other triangle are equal. So now we shall see the third one. Students, we shall see the third problem. So in the third figure, observe the two triangles. They are M N L. Triangle M N L. Another one is P Q R. Here they have given two sides, the length of two sides, and then included angle. So here also two sides and then included angle. So now we shall check the ratios. So by observing that figure and also the data, so we can uh, say that in that uh, third problem we are we have to use S A S criteria. S A S criteria. So in triangle, in triangle. Yam, Yam, Yal, Yam and Yal, and in triangle P to R, P to R. So first we will write the angles. Angle Yam equals angle Q, which is which is equal to seventy. Angle M equals angle Q, which is equal to 70 degree. So in the next, we will see the ratio. Ratio is M N by M N by P Q. M N by P Q equals 2.5 by 5, which is equal to 2.1 sa, 2.2 sa. It is the ratio is one by two. So now we will take the another uh, ratio that is ML ML by P two. Sorry, ML by Q R. ML by Q R equals so it is five by ten five ones are five twos are one by two. One by two. The ratios are equal. So therefore, students, so here we can write therefore triangle M M L is similar to triangle P Q R P Q R. So this is. Now, uh, um, similar. These two triangles are similar on the basis of side angle, side radius, side angle, side radius. So, therefore, students, from these uh, problems, we will come to the conclusion that so, if we use the angle, angle, angle radius. All the three angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of another triangle. So then we can write those two triangles are similar. So angles of one angles of one triangles are equal to the angles of another corresponding angle. Another triangle. Sorry. So the angles of One triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of another triangle. So then we can write those two triangles are similar. So if we use the yes 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 side 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 radius, yeah. So we have to show or we have to check the ratios of the corresponding sides. The ratios of the corresponding sides of the two triangles, if they are equal, then also we can write they are similar. And third one is, so if we compare the two triangles, the two sides under included angle of one triangle are 
equal to the two the ratio of the two sides and then included angle of another corresponding angles of the triangle so if they are equal then also we can write they are similar if any one of this is not equal or if the ratio is not equal so then they are not similar so understand students so if they are equal if we use angle 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 criteria all the angles are equal then we can write they are similar so if any one angle is not equal so then you have to write they are not similar triangles similarly if we use side 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 criteria so if you observe the ratios of the corresponding sides if they are equal you may write they are similar if any one of the ratio is not equal you can write they are not similar similarly in the same uh, same way we will write the s e a s so this is all about the uh, and criteria of for the similarity of triangles students there are so another uh, pair of three pairs of uh, problems are there in this main so that way you have to simplify in your own okay students we will see in the next class